When COVID-19 strikes us, we began to overthink things and feel worried every day. As we continue and fight for the future, we sacrifice our health and our safety just to survive and keep alive. This world keeps on fighting for a better tomorrow. Blissful and enthusiastic day, everyone. This is Christian Albilo Salas speaking, and I am here today together with my group mates to present our collaborative report entitled Community Health. So, the following statements seeks for further explanations to better educate ourselves about this important concern, and our discussion will be all about health, community, and community health. So we are now in the first part, which is understanding your community. So what is community? Community is defined as a social logical group in a large sharing environment, if there includes the individual and the family. And for further explanation, community deals with people who live in a specific area or a group of people who share common interests, okay? They are a group of people with common interests. Religious community, sport community, and business community are its example. So next is health. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not just the absence of disease and infirmity. Moreover, health deals about the condition of human's health, may it be physical health, mental, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, and even environmental health. Regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and enough rest could contribute to a good health, and individuals need to pursue a healthy lifestyle to reduce the risk of diseases. And the last one is the community health. Community health is the status of defined group of people in the action and conditions to promote, protect, and preserve their health. Good community health means living with a healthy people. Best example nito is yung COVID-19. Kasi diba, in order for us to help protect the others, we have to protect ourselves first. Thus, we have to be extra careful to not get infected by the virus dahil kapag nangyari iyon ay pwede tayong makahawa at makadam madadamay ang mga taong nasa malapit natin. Parang agreement ito siya with particular community. Like, you should take good care of yourself and I will take good care of myself too. And that is why we must think of things that we could help to improve the health of our community. Always remember that if we will maintain a good and healthy lifestyle, everything will follow because to live in a healthy community is very important. In order to evaluate one's community, one must understand the factors that may affect the health of a community. The three main factors and determinants of the community health are as follows. One is physical factors, social factors, community organization, and the last one is individual behavior. Physical factor, geography. Geography is the study of places and the relationship between people and their environments. Geographers explore both the physical properties of Earth's surface and the human societies spread across it. Geographies seek to understand where things are found, why they are there, and how they develop and change over time. Geography is a field of science devoted to the study of land, features, inhabitants, and phenomena of the Earth and planets. Second is environment. Environment means anything that surrounds us. It can be living or non-living things. It includes physical, chemical, and other natural forces. Community size. It is the people with common interests or characteristics living within a larger society. How does community size affect our health? When we say large community, it talks about a lot of people 
which those people interact with their physical environment through the air they breathe, water they drink, houses they live in, and transportation they access to travel, to work, and school. Example, we are now facing pandemic because of COVID-19 virus. Because of our big population, it leads to spread the disease or virus much faster. Next, industrial development. It talks about building and growing of industries within an economy. By using new technologies which make jobs easier, faster, and better, and lead to an increase in profits. But even though it increases their economic growth, it also increases the death because industrial development have a negative impact in our environment, like climate change, loss of natural resources, air and water pollutions, and extinctions of species, which can affect the health of our Social factors. Social factors is a familiar relationship, serve as important risks and protective factors for all people. So, we have a five factors here, the community, economy, politics, beliefs, tradition, and prejudice, and also culture and religion. Community. Community factors such as social support, life stress, or social capital that epidemiological studies have shown to be related to health. Economy. Economy is a factor that can affect and influence an individual's financial status. Politics. Politics relate to how the government intervenes in the economy. Belief, tradition, and prejudice is used in a big portion in the U.S. In other countries, it may be less. A tradition can be the Greek life or topes. Culture and religion. Cultures comprise a set of values and ideologies of particular community or group of individuals, and religion is have played a considerable role in the economic system. So now that we are facing a global spreading of COVID-19, all of these factors are now helping to secure all of us to not be affected with this virus. They conduct a stay at home and social distancing in every community. And now our economy is getting low because of the pandemic, so they plan many things to increase again our economy. Community organization. So it aims to organize, mobilize, and educate the population to build a strong sense of community. The first one is that it influences a community's ability to solve problems. It is a process of people coming together to address issues that matter to them. For example, nowadays we're experiencing this COVID-19 and it can devastate our life. Through this organization, we can address properly this COVID-19 issues and we can be able to find some ways on how to avoid being infected by this virus. So the second one, this community organization will help us to avoid duplication of services. So when we relate it to our situation right now, we must avoid duplication of data records who are infected by the virus that is being gathered by the authorities. Others also sell dishes with pork. Since 
the spread of the pandemic or the COVID-19, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people lost connections to the one they run outside the building due to loss of signal. Everything gets stopped when the start of pandemic because the economy is getting down. Due to the beliefs and cultures of the Philippines, the economy's best delicacies have been made due to lack of nutrition. A lot of people can't have something to eat with the COVID-19. Individual behavior Individual behavior contributes to the overall health of the community. One single individual can affect the health population. So in general, individual behavior can be a mix of responses to both external and internal stimuli. It is also the way on how people react on different situations, especially in this time of crisis where people are getting sensitive and careful for their own safety. Aside from that, this pandemic also helped people to realize that unity and helping one another, especially to those in need, is a must because there is no such problem that we cannot fix together. Community health may be studied within three broad categories. First is the primary health care, which refers to interventions that focus on the individual or family such as hand washing yung paghugas ng kamay, immunization, pagbabakuna, and circumcision yung pagtutuli. So as you noticed, this is a common health care that every individual is experiencing in their life. Primary health care or PHC refers to essential health care and it addresses the main health care problems in the community. Like for today's situation, we are currently in the middle of crisis because of COVID-19 so in order for us to be safe and healthy, we need to follow all the health protocols for us not to get infected with COVID. Why is primary health care important? This is the first point of contact with health services and provides a point of entry for the entire health system. Primary care includes health promotion, disease prevention, health maintenance, counseling, patient education, diagnosis, and treatment of acute and chronic illness in a variety of healthcare settings. In addition, primary healthcare focuses on general care for overall patient education and wellness. Primary health care can be expressed as social and political efforts to make health knowledge, health care skills, and the entire health service delivery system respond to the people's needs and situation. Primary care involves your primary health care provider. You see them for things like acute illness, injuries, screenings, or to coordinate care among specialists. An example of the specialists are dentist, counselor, dietitian, and osteopath. Secondary healthcare refers to those activities which focus on the environment such as draining puddles of water near the house, clearing bushes, and spraying insecticides to control vectors like mosquitoes. In other words, Secondary healthcare's main function is to improve the health of people and the environment. Since they are the ones who maintain the cleanliness in your surroundings or in our surroundings, particularly in the drainage that contains hundreds of bacteria and odors that cause you to get sick sometimes. They also conduct fogging in every single household to avoid serious or fatal diseases like malaria. It makes a significant difference in reducing the number of individuals who become ill as a result of their unclean environment each year. Based on my research that secondary health care is the specialist treatment and support provided by doctors and other health professionals for patients who have been referred to them for specific experts care most often provided in hospitals. 
So, for example, despite increased demand for healthcare professional in response to COVID-19, cancellations and postponements of medical visits and procedures treating existing revenues of hospitals and healthcare systems or business sector create job loss in healthcare sector, employment sector, and reduce access to preventive care or public health sector. So ayun nga, um, despite sa nangyayari today, no, um, we are facing um, pandemic and this is called COVID-19. So ngayon talaga, um, demand talaga yung mga professional healthcare, no? kagaya na lamang yung mga doctor, nurses, at iba pa. Kaya nga yun lamang, uh, marami, uh, marami talagang naaapektuhan ng dahil sa COVID-19. Kagaya na lamang yung mga walang permanent job kasi napakahirap talaga maghanap ngayon ng trabaho. At kagaya na lamang din yung mga negosyante, maliliit na lamang yung mga kita nila. At dahil dito sa pandemyang ito. So, the importance of secondary healthcare example is... Healthcare benefits may include community health education by research staff and community access to quality and free medical care. The last broad category in community health is tertiary healthcare. On the other hand, refers to those interventions that take place in a hospital setting such as intravenous rehydration or surgery. Tertiary care is a level above secondary health care that has been defined as highly specialized medical care, usually provide over an extended period of time that involves advances and complex diagnostics procedures and treatments performed by medical specialists in state-of-the-art facilities. So the rule of tertiary healthcare is a specialized care that offers a service to those referred from secondary care of diagnosis or treatment and which is not available in primary and secondary care. Tertiary care service includes such areas of cardiac surgery, cancer treatment, and management, burn treatment, plastic surgery, neurosurgery, and other complicated treatments or procedures. The purpose of tertiary healthcare is to minimize residual disability or complications or rehabilitation. Tertiary healthcare option for those patients who have no And that's the end of our presentation. I hope you gain a lot of information about community health. Thank you for tuning in.